I'm gonna tell you guys a really quick story about one of my pro athletes. This is an athlete who came to me and he said, uh, somebody told me that you were good at this stuff and you could help me improve my velocity. This is a guy who already had the foundation sound, looked mechanically beautiful, but was averaging his fastball around 92 and a half miles an hour and was in single A in this fifth year of his contract. So that's not gonna work, right? That's not gonna ultimately get you to live out your dream of stepping onto the mound at Yankee Stadium and being the best reliever for the New York Yankees for the entire year. So we had to do some things, right? And we had to meet him where he was. The foundation was laid. So if I were to take that time and say, hey, let's do some movement protocols, we would have been wasting time and ultimately we would have cut off his potential to do the, the lifelong dream, the childhood dream. When he started, the day he started with me, his fastball, on Baseball Savant was 92.5 miles an hour average. It would jump two miles an hour in one COVID off season. He did not do any extra throwing. He did not throw away to baseball with me. What we did was we worked backwards from what had to happen. And we took a look at what are we ultimately trying to do? We're trying to get him better at throwing, right? We're trying to address these key KPIs through my lens. We're trying to address his mound velocity, his max velocity, his average velocity, maybe his pull down velocity, maybe his positional velocity, and maybe we're trying to impact spin rate as well. When we look at this, first and foremost, everybody has this skewed perspective of, of baseball. And if you don't work at like the highest echelon, it can be even more skewed. Guys would be like, I need to throw 95. I need to throw 99 or I'm not going to get picked or I'm not going to have the opportunity. I just like to give these numbers. Around 16% of D1 college baseball players is 96 and above. 73 big leaguers out of 400 uh, pitchers last year are over 96. It's not that many guys that throw that hard. There's not. If you looked at social media, you would think I was crazy, but it, there's just not that many guys that throw that hard. But you do want to try to move guys specifically down this route if it's going to help save their career or open up the opportunity for them. 